Hi and welcome back to Retrospect Reviews. My name's Vince and in this episode I'm going to show you what games I have on my Nintendo GameCube. Never owned an original GameCube, brought mine second hand. I only got a small collection. Let me show you what GameCube games I do have. Uh, the first game is Dead Rights. Picked this up uh, at a video store closing down, so didn't have the original cover, but they only charged me a dollar, dollar for that and the case, so I just printed off a new cover for that. Dead to Rights is a third person action video game produced by Namco USA. It was released in 2002 as a timed exclusive for the Xbox and released for the PlayStation 2 and Nintendo GameCube followed thereafter. Dead to Rights makes use of bullet time, a popular game mechanic of the time. The game advertises itself as drawing inspiration from Hong Kong action cinema, example, Gung Fu. The player is sometimes accompanied by Shadow, a canine partner who can attack enemies on command, who will automatically kill whatever enemy he's aimed at and then bring the player whatever the enemy was carrying. To keep the dog from being too powerful, his attack can only be used when the meter is filled up. In some puzzle sections, the player automatically takes direct control of Shadow to reach areas that the human character cannot. I haven't really played this one yet, uh, had a little go. I've seen a few mixed reviews on it, uh, but it seems to be, um, uh, apparently in the day, not many people liked it, but it seems to be becoming a favourite uh, now in the retro scene, and that is Mario Sunshine. Super Mario Sunshine is a platform game developed and published by Nintendo for the GameCube. It was first released in Japan in July 2002 and was later released in North America, Europe and Australia. It is the second Super Mario 3D platform in the series overall, following Super Mario 64 in 1996. The game takes place on the tropical island Isle de Flamo where Mario, Toadworth, Princess Peach and Five Toads are taking a vacation. A villain resembling Mario, known as Shadow Mario, vandalizes the island with graffiti and Mario gets blamed for the mess. Mario is ordered to clean up Isle de Flamo using a device called the Flame Liquidizer Ultra Dosing Device FLUDD, while saving Princess Peach from Shadow Mario. Super Mario Sancho received critical acclaim with reviews Mario's array of moves and the addition of Flood as a mechanic, though some critics criticised the game's camera control. The game sold over 5 million copies worldwide by 2006 and it is the third best-selling GameCube game of all time. Another game I've got um, which I really enjoy is Cell Damage. Cell Damage is a vehicle combat video game for the Xbox and GameCube. Developed by Basilo Interactive and published by Electric Arts, the game was first released for the Xbox on November 14, 2001 and for GameCube on January 7, 2002 in North America, respectively. In Europe, the game launched for both consoles on May 3, 2002. A PlayStation 2 port entitled Cell Damage Overdrive was released by PlayIt on December 12, 2002 in Europe only. Cell Damage is a cartoonish take on vehicle combat games like those from the Twisted Metal series. The story focuses on six cartoon characters from a fictional cartoon show called Cell Damage. The characters eliminate each other to the delight of TV audiences and since they are cartoons instantly regenerate. The player battles through 13 different levels and three game modes. Weaponry for the cell damage includes cartoon staples like vacuum nozzles and portable hoses, mundane weaponry like chainsaws and baseball bats, and items like freeze rays, giant springs, and portable nuclear devices. YouTube, this was recommended by another YouTuber, John Hancock, and that is Super Monkey Ball. A port of Super Monkey Ball was released as a launch title for the GameCube in late 2001, gaining interest as Sega's first game published for a Nintendo home console. 
Super Monkey Ball involves guiding a transparent ball containing one of four monkeys across a series of maze-like platforms. You must reach the goal without falling off or letting the timer reach zero in the to, the to advance to the next stage. There are also several multiplayer modes, independent mini-games as well as extensions of the mini single player game. Super Monkey Ball received high positive reviews from critics who praised the simplicity and subtle depth of its control scheme as well as the new multiplayer modes not presented on its arcade counterpart, although some felt its presentation was lacking. The game was commercially successful and remained one of, the, one of Sega's best selling in the United States for, for much of 2002, eventually spawning a direct sequel Super, Super Monkey Ball 2 and the entire Super Monkey Ball franchise. Also have Pikmin. Pikmin is a puzzle strategy video game developed and published by Nintendo for the GameCube in 2001. The player controls Captain Ulema, an alien who ends up on a mysterious planet who, where he befriends creatures called Pikmin and utilizes their abilities to collect the lost spaceship parts after it crashed and landed there. The player has 30 days to recover the pieces and repair the ship. The game was both a critical and commercial success. It has spawned two sequels, Pikmin 2 in 2004 for the GameCube and Pikmin 3 2013 for the Wii U. In 2009, Pikmin was re-released for the Wii as part of the new Play Control series. So I've also got Talk Evolution. Torok Evolution is the first person shooter video game released for the Game Boy Advance, PlayStation 2, Xbox and the GameCube in 2002. A port for Microsoft Windows was released in 2003 for the European market. It is the prequel to Turok Dinosaur Hunter and was last to follow in the series before it was rebooted by, by a 2008 entry in the series called Turok. It is also the first game in the series not to be released on the Nintendo 64. One game that's I've got here is always super popular, always highly recommended on any system that it comes out on. Metro Prime 2. Metro Prime 2 Echoes is a first person action adventure video game developed by Retro Studios and published by Nintendo for the GameCube video game console. It is the seventh published game in the Metro series, a sequel to Metro Prime and the first game in the series with multiplayer feature. Echoes was released in North America, Europe and Australia in 2004 and in Japan under the name Metro Prime 2 Dark Echoes in 2005. The main reason I did buy a GameCube is so I could buy the Mario Party series. I've got 4 and 5, trying to get 6 and 7, pretty expensive in Australia 6 and 7. I, d I don't know if it's because it didn't, they didn't sell a lot of copies of it but um, yeah I'm Last time I checked, uh, seven and six were going anywhere from sixty dollars to a hundred dollars each. So hopefully one day I will come across them. Mario Party is a party video game series featuring Mario franchise characters in which four human or computer-controlled characters compete on a board game. The series is known for its party game elements, including the often unpredictable multiplayer modes. The series currently holds the record for the longest running minigame series. As of December 2014, Nintendo reported community worldwide sales of 39.6 million game copies in the Mario Party franchise. Well, that's my GameCube collection. So if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave a comment down below. Tell me about your favourite GameCube game. And don't forget to share this video and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I upload a new video every Friday. So once again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next week. Bye for now.